Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19, and it's been a while since I did a car washing detail video or anything of that sort, mainly because I just ran out of, well, cars to wash and then just strategies. I kind of just did anything that I've always done in the past, so I stopped. But a lot of people recently have been requesting that I do another car washing thing just because it's enjoyable, and uh, I'll admit I'll catch myself watching some detailing videos here and there just because it is uh, therapeutic. But why not? Uh, I got my buddies uh, Huracan Performante here, and we're just going to do an easy, easy wash. I wouldn't even call it a detail at all. Uh, so we're just going to use the same equipment that I have used in the past. It's just going to be my electric power washer, um, the foam cannon, of course, because it makes for great Instagram pictures. Well, that's the main use of that anyway. But uh, other than that, we have, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and grab the camera and walk you through my mess here. All right, so we got the car here. Uh, we're going to be doing a two bucket method here. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more on that in just a second. So I've got my leaf blower. Uh, some people say it's redneck, but it is completely usable. That's just going to prevent me from uh, wiping down the car more than I really need to because obviously touching the car and wiping it down is what will eventually cause swirl marks and all that kind of stuff. So that just prevents that. I don't have to worry about it so much with this car and I'll explain why as I walk you around it. Uh, other than that, uh, I've got my two different mitts here. One I'm gonna dedicate just to the wheels, one I'm gonna dedicate to the panels. I've got uh, that brush there to make getting the barrels of the wheels nice and easy. The soap I will be using is this Car Pro Reset. The reason I'm using that is because the car, uh, as I'll explain more about the current condition it's in, as we should assess that, it's got a G Technique ceramic coating on there. Uh, so obviously to keep that nice and slick, we're just gonna be using that reset. I've got the MTM Hydro Foam Cannon here. And then here's that electric power washer I was talking about. If you guys have seen my other videos and you know about this, but this is just the Blue Clean uh, electric power washer. Uh, this one here is 1800 PSI. They also make 2000 PSI. But yeah, these are really cool. They're cost effective. Uh, pretty much everything here, especially the uh, power washer, you can actually get on Amazon. Um, so I'll go ahead and put the links in the description like I usually do. But yeah, I don't really get the point of a gas power washer. I'll go gas on my cars, uh, electric on my power washers. Thank you very much. Um, so as you can see, I am forgetting a couple things here. I do not have tire shine, which some people don't like anyway, and then I don't have window cleaner, but that's okay. This is more of a maintenance wash, and we could do that stuff later on anyway, so that's what we'll go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and walk around the car real quick, talk about the current state it's in, and kind of uh, what I'm taking uh, note of here. So good news about this car, if you have not seen my other videos on it already. Uh, this is a pretty easy car to wash, not only for its size, but obviously I'm gonna treat this like any other car as far as uh, just being very careful with the paint, but this one you don't have to be as careful with. Now, again, that doesn't give you an excuse to be lazy with, so uh, just keep that in mind. So what am I talking about? This is actually a glossy orange uh, factory Performante, but it has got um, the Expel Stealth uh, matte film wrap for PPF. On top of that, it's got the G-Technique ceramic coating. So this thing is just well protected. It's got the stealth on the paint, and it's got gloss PPF on all the glossy carbon fiber. So this thing is near impossible to swirl because it has got uh, just a ton of protection on it. So uh, with that said, I'm still gonna treat it like any other car as you should. All right, so I tried to utilize as much of the shade in the driveway as I could. Thankfully, the sun is setting behind me, so we should only be getting more and more shade here. Uh, reason being is as the water starts getting applied, and let's say I'm slow to dry it or uh, slow to readdress this panel, for instance, uh, when the sun's beating on it, it could get hot and evaporate quickly, and that's just gonna result in water spots, similar to this, but that's just because it's dirty here. Um, so yeah, uh, ideally, I would want it all in shade, but thankfully, it's about like 65 degrees out, so it's not too hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I address that panel first or so, uh, otherwise should be in pretty good shape here. All right, so like I said, two bucket method. So we're gonna leave this one just watered to rinse off the mitt. And this one right here is gonna be my soap one. So let's go ahead. Cool thing about this Scar Pro uh, Reset is it does not take much. It took me a while to find that out, but seriously, it does not take much. That right there uh, will do it well for honestly two, uh, two cars. I'm gonna do this one here, and uh, if I have time, I'll probably do my truck as well because that thing is filthy, but that's about it. I'm just gonna get the power washer and mix that together. All right, so I already filled the foam can up with some water. Again, with the reset, does not take much, but obviously we're really emphasizing on suds here, so that right there should be just about plenty.
All right, so we're just waiting for the uh, foam to do its thing. Uh, it's been about a minute or so, and honestly, for today's conditions, that's probably all I'll really need. But what this foam is doing is just setting on here, weakening any dirt and debris, like the bug splatters or whatever else. Um, so then after that, so I think it's just about ready. We're gonna hit it with just normal water with the power washer from a safe distance on like a low power. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's the uh, function of the uh, foam cannon, in case you guys were unfamiliar. So at this point, the uh, landscaper started doing some work on a neighboring property, so it got a bit too loud. Uh, so voiceovers will have to do. Um, so yeah, so we just pretty much at this point uh, foamed the car up, weakened the dirt, and then sprayed it off. And so now it's a slightly cleaner car. Uh, still have ways to go. So at this point now, we are getting our mitt within the, um, the suds, the water and soap, obviously. And uh, we're just cleaning panel by panel in straight lines. So as you're gonna see here, uh, starting from the top, uh, typically, so anything um, is dripping downwards where you're already gonna clean anyway. So that's typically what to do. Uh, you'll see me throughout this video kind of still put a lot of emphasis on the back end of the car because like I said, that is what is exposed to the sun. So I kinda wanna get that done early. But here we are on the front of the car and on the roof. Um, so yeah, straight lines, take it easy, panel by panel, not forcing down on the actual mitt, uh, just letting the work of gravity kinda do it and just straight lines, run it through it twice. Um, and that's about it. So depending on the condition, sometimes I'll just do this to the entire car, making visits back and forth to the buckets and then power wash it off. But on a day like today, because I am outside during the day and I have some of the car exposed, just go panel by panel, then wash it off, uh, panel by panel, wash it off or rinse it off rather. Uh, but pretty much the key is just don't let anything dry. Don't let any car panel dry. So even if you're not touching a certain panel of the car, each time you bring out the power washer, just run it through it, keep, keep the car wet. Um, and pretty much, so that's pretty much what you're gonna see me do here. A lot of people like to start with the wheels, which is smart, but uh, this is not a three bucket method. If I had a third bucket, I would dedicate one to the wheels initially just because uh, that's gonna be the dirty one. Obviously the wheels are very dirty, but I only have two buckets uh, at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave the wheels last. I don't wanna get my buckets dirty with the wheels and then start putting that on the panel. Uh, so this works fine. So I'm just doing the wheels last here. Um, I'm just getting my uh, a mitt, use a totally different mitt by the way, but I'm pretty much getting the whole wheel just, you know, full of suds, I'm trying to get as much nooks and crannies as I can. Um, and then I'm gonna bring out the, uh, the actual brush itself to get the inner barrel. One thing that I'm forgetting, again, I, I didn't prepare too well, but uh, I'm forgetting my Iron X, which is pretty much uh, gonna weaken any uh, brake dust particles and make this step much, much easier. I love Iron X from CarPro. Uh, unfortunately, I just left it at home. So, you know, yay uh, for me, for my great preparation skills, but no worries, uh, we'll get by it. So now we're left with a wet, clean car. Drying it is a whole different thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the, uh, the leaf blower here, and that's just gonna make uh, everything just a lot easier. So instead of bringing the, uh, like some kind of towel directly to the car, which is gonna be fine in the case of this car because it has paint protection film, but it's just habit and just good habit to pick up. But I'm just gonna get the leaf blower get rid of all of the uh, water, or not all of it, but the majority of it, which is easy to do because this car has uh, G-Technique uh, ceramic, which just makes water beat up and roll right off, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that, get the bulk of the water off, and then I'm gonna roll the car into the garage and then you know do the rest with a towel. So now that the car is in the garage, uh, got the majority of the water off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get a nice clean uh, microfiber towel and just address any water that I did not get. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I did not bring a window cleaner, so I'm gonna address the windows here as well. Um, Using soft water, addressing it pretty quickly. The windows actually look pretty clean and looks like they're not full of streaks. Uh, but like I said, uh, with the tire shine and the windows, you could adjust that later. Uh, point is, we're just getting the car clean as a maintenance wash goes. All right guys, so hopefully you can hear me over the uh, landscapers, but that'll just about do it. Just a real quick maintenance wash if you saw some of the other car washing videos. Then nothing really too new, except just on a different car. So that's always exciting. So uh, glad I got to do it here with the Performante. Um, but yeah, so like I said, uh, within the, uh, the voiceovers, not really great preparation. So like I said, I forgot the tire shine, which is okay. We can do that later. Window cleaner, uh, I dried it quick enough, so we're fine. But again, we can do that later. But one big thing was the Iron X. It's pretty much like what the foam cannon does for paint is uh, what Iron X does for the wheels and all the, the, the brake dust and all that kind of stuff. Carbon ceramics on this one, you know, it wasn't too bad, but it was a little dusty, but I got around it. They look fine, they look clean. Uh, but Iron X is gonna weaken all that stuff. I forgot it at home, so what are you gonna do? 
Um, but yeah, anything like that I use today or the things I forgot, I'll just go ahead and put a link in the description to where you guys can check all that out for yourself. But now I'm gonna go to washing my Raptor, which is gonna take quite a bit of time, so I guess I'll do that. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.